Hello there, fellow seekers of knowledge and truth. Welcome to yet another captivating journey through the annals of history. Today, we'll unravel the peculiarities of an event that defies logical explanation, a plague not of a deadly pathogen, but of relentless dancing. We'll delve into the streets of 16th century Strasbourg, where hundreds of individuals fell victim to an inexplicable compulsion to dance until they dropped. Hold on tight as we waltz through the theories and speculations that surround this mystifying occurrence. Now, without further ado, let's get started. In the annals of history's bewildering occurrences, the peculiar narrative of the dancing plate threads its peculiar course. It all erupted into the realm of reality when Trophy, a denizen of Strasbourg, was suddenly caught in an inexplicable whirl of frenzied footwork. It was as if an unseen marionette had her puppeteered, charading incessantly, and she was powerless to resist the enigmatic compulsion. As if infected by a contagious rhythm, 34 more souls were ensnared in the dance's thrall within a seven-day span. As the month waned, the spectacle swelled grotesquely, ensnaring approximately 400 victims in its relentless rhythm. The primary sources of the epoch depict a chilling portrait of distress, not euphoria, etched onto the dancers' faces. Strasbourg's governing echelon was ensnared in a cryptic riddle, the solution to which eluded their grasp. Their initial line of defense involved soliciting the wisdom of the medical fraternity, who dismissed celestial or paranormal origins for this aberration. The diagnosis, instead, leaned towards a natural disease, birthed from hot blood. Yet, their prescribed antidote, paradoxically, seemed to fan the flames of this inexplicable frenzy. In an audacious bid to cure the ailment with its cause, the city's overseers elected to encourage more dancing. Their belief was rooted in the idea that the participants might find salvation in the very act that bound them. To this end, they unlocked the doors of two guild halls and a grain market, transforming them into grand stages for this relentless performance. To further amplify the spectacle, musicians were hired, their harmonies intended to sustain the manic dance. Rather than provide relief, however, the situation descended into deeper depths of despair. Dancers pushed their mortal bodies beyond their endurance limits, some collapsing in exhaustion and some, it is said, even succumbing to heart attacks, strokes, or sheer fatigue. It was only when the turn of September ushered in the decision to ferry the beleaguered dancers to a shrine perched atop a mountain to seek divine absolution that the merciless grip of the dancing plague showed signs of relenting. Despite the ample historical documentation of the incident, a comprehensive explanation for this dancing plague continues to dance just out of reach of contemporary understanding. Some scholarly minds theorize the possibility of mass psychogenic illness, MPI, a peculiar condition where psychological stress manifests as physical symptoms across a group. The collective mental toll of famine, disease, and spiritual desolation could feasibly have tipped the scale towards such a shared psychological response. Others, on the contrary, propose that the culprit could have been the consumption of ergot fungi, a naturally occurring substance on damp rye. This condition, known as Street Anthony's Fire or Ergotism, incites hallucinations and spasms, potential clues to the puzzle of the dancing plague. However, the theory fails to bridge the gap in explaining the sustained, exhaustive dancing. And that, dear viewers, was the whirlwind saga of the dancing plague of 1518. A dance marathon, not of joy but of despair, and a tale that has left historians and scientists puzzled for centuries. We danced our way through possible explanations, from mass psychogenic illness to the effects of ergot fungi. But the final answer remains elusive, just like the dance steps of our tragic protagonists. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the strange and fascinating corners of history, don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts or theories in the comment section below. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and remember, history is full of strange, unexplained wonders just waiting to be uncovered. Thanks for watching.